Hi. Um, yeah, odd starting photo, or starting screen, but pretty much I am just uh, making this to let you see or know where we are on the Blood Angels. Um, I got your text message yesterday. I was at work. Um, I couldn't reply. It's just blue stuff, blue tacky stuff holding it to there. Um, pretty much where we sit. And, you know, I know we've uh, run over on this. This is the first time we've ever had issues like this. Um, I do apologize. I, I really do. Um, these guys, though, are getting close to completion. And they should be at, <coughs> should be ready for you soon. Um, so, to start, these are the uh, machine guns. They're the, bolt, uh, the bolters. Uh, the bolters go to your bikes. Um, if we go over here, you will see up oh, there. That is. Let me put this with him. Um, you will see several bikes. These bikes are the bikes he sent, obviously. Um, I'll include pictures at the end of the video. The, the bikes are pretty much almost completed with the riders. Um, the helmets are yellow. I have to go ahead and basically get them attached to their leg. Well, you have to put on their legs and you have to put the torsos on and you have to attach the arms. It's kind of funky because of the uh, sidecar. With him, it doesn't matter. He just sits right in. With them, it's a little bit of wiggle here, wiggle there, get them all on there, and then you glue them together. But the bikes are pretty much, uh, pretty much almost completed. Uh, some of the little details need to be finished off, like the heavy bolters, uh, the bolt guns. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, heavy bolters, bolt guns, the helmet details. Um, him, for example, he's not wearing a helmet, but it's attached to his leg. He's kind of wearing it on the side, so that way, you know. It always bugged me when you saw Marines without helmets. Um, your assault Marines, four of them are right here. One of them is hanging out over there at the moment. Um, four of them are right here. Also, here's Death Company. Death Company, the men themselves are pretty much completed. Um, the wing details are all done there. Um, the only part that needs to be completed, they're backpacks, I believe. Yeah, I need to do some detail work just on their backpacks. The assault marine backpacks where the jump packs are done, normal backpacks basically just need a highlight and the tiny bit of detail work that those get. The death company ones have a lot more detail, so they, uh, they can take a bit longer. Um, that's not more than a day. Here's all the shoulder pads already highlighted for them. Um, here's all the arms, once again, for those guys. Um, all the arms need is a tiny bit of detail work, um, and one stage highlight, and they're done. Um, Storm Raven? Wow, the red on the Storm Raven really messes with my camera. Okay, I'm going to bring the Storm Raven over here where it's a little bit brighter, and hope it doesn't blind this camera. The Storm Raven is almost complete. Um, I do not have the glass in the cockpit yet because when I seal it with the mat, I do not want to seal the window because then you'll just have frosted glass. Uh, the Storm Raven is almost complete. Um, I just have to paint the missiles like a gray color and then do a highlight and that way they'll look like missiles. All of the just put black wash right in there with a quick silver dry brush. All of those are connected. All the little detail parts are painted. They just need uh, wash and dry brush. Um, right now, I'm actually waiting for the servitor. I'm waiting for the wash on him to dry so I can do the flesh tone. Um, do a wash on the flesh tone, do the cable details, get him attached into his seat. Once he's in his seat, 
uh, his cupola will be attached and then I will do the weapons the weapons um, I have to look at your your message again I want to say it was last cannons and meltas um, I'll double check though uh, one thing I did want to ask is the side doors um, I have to throw a wash on them and do a quick one single stage highlight um, on the side doors once those are together or once those are done um, I can show you real quick here I apologize for any shakiness but the side doors because of friction pretty much press straight in and if you want to keep them on you pretty much just have them on if you want to swap them over to the hurricane bolter they pop right out you push in the hurricane bolter assembly put your uh, put the cupola back on with the servitor which goes in that direction I have to try and do this one hand with my right hand I do it with my left actually <laughs> even though I'm right handed but yeah you pretty much take off the servitor pop your finger in there pop out what you don't want and pop the new one in and friction will hold it in um, the storm the storm bolter the hurricane bolter parts obviously are going to be coming back with all of the models um, but yeah death company the assault marines the dreadnought is the only thing that's not painted um, it will be painted I'm off tomorrow or set well today I guess Saturday um, work Sunday I'm off Monday so I should be able to actually paint the dreadnought this should all be done by the end of the weekend right here this will all be done probably Sunday before I go to work I go to work at 3 in the afternoon this will all be done well before then. I'll probably get it all finished up tomorrow because it's all detail work at this point. Um, so me and my partner, we just have to do all the little tiny eyes. The, you know, i got to get that painted black and then do the belts. Um, yeah, it's all little tiny things at this point. The backpacks, which are a couple hours of work maybe. It, it, it's, if you're getting extremely detailed, but it's not even that. That would be a starting from scratch. Um... I jump around between the different things a lot. I do apologize. Um, it's just how you know it's how I am. Attention deficit disorder and OCD and all that really are a pain in the butt when you're painting miniatures. Um, combined with that, some wonderful life issues and yeah. Um, wow, that thing really messes up the camera. But it, it is beautiful. You can't see it from here, but. I'm not sure you can, but, um, yeah, I mean, once you have the, you know, if you look at it, literally all that's missing is the, this part, which, right here, I just have to detail the lens on the targeter, um, and yeah, I mean, the bird's almost ready to go for you, so, yeah, I, I, like I said, I do apologize, I never intended for us to take this long on getting your model finished, done, and out the door. Um, but pretty much between, well, between a few things, between cons, family issues, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, I guess you could say work, life, and yeah, it's about it, work and life. Between those two things, it kind of slowed down everything. Um, it's really pushed us behind schedule, and I do apologize about that. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, I, I really am sorry. We've never had anything like this happen before. We've always been on time with our projects. We've done a couple of them now for a few people. Well, I'd say two up at For the Win. Uh, we've done like three here in Fredericksburg never had any issues before this is the first time I really do apologize um, but yeah uh, everything should be done Let's see these will all be done what is today today's Saturday yeah Saturday at like 2.40 in the morning 
Um, so everything, sh well, 258, wow. Uh, everything should be done by Monday evening, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, somewhere around there. Um, I'll take final photographs, send those forward to you. That way, you know, if there's anything wrong, we can go ahead and fix it. Uh, then we'll arrange payment and shipping. Um, shipping, all of this, I believe, separately, when it's on separate sprues, it, it doesn't fit in anything. It fits in, like, I think it was two flat rates. Might have been three. I forget. All of it, like this, assembled, I think will fit in a single flat rate comfortably. Um, when I send this back, I am going to send it back not attached to the base. The base will be finished. The flight stand will be attached to the base. Um, I would not recommend gluing this to the base. Some people do. Uh, it's really not a good idea. Um, really hard to transport that way. This way it's hard enough to transport, but it should fit in a flat, uh, medium flat rate box. So it's not as much of an issue as, say, trying that with the base on it because it would take a humongous box. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you have a good night, or a good day at this point, actually. Um, have a good weekend. I, Like I said, I apologize about not getting in contact, and I apologize about this taking so long. Um, we should have everything done, though, pretty soon. So, thank you very much. I'll talk to you later.